And we've started off this Sunday morning with some showers moving across northeast Oklahoma. So far, officially, we've picked up five one hundredths of an inch of rainfall here in the Tulsa area. That brings a monthly total now up to seven tenths of an inch of rain. And for the year, now 46.68 inches at surplus, running about nine and a half inches of rainfall. And we're still seeing a little bit of light rain falling here in the Tulsa area. The average through today should be at about 37 and a quarter inches. So that surplus still nice as we move on through November. And it looks like more rain is on the way to eastern Oklahoma. First of all, let's take a look at Storm Shield Radar. I'll show you where the heaviest rainfall is occurring right now. Still seeing some light rain in southeast Kansas. As you drop to the south and east, that's where we're seeing heavier rainfall right now. Maybe one or two two lightning strikes, but this is mainly just some light to moderate rain falling here in northeast Oklahoma. First of all, let's zoom right into the Tulsa area. You notice we've seen the showers pass on by Bixby picked up about a tenth of an inch of rainfall so far as we've seen this rainfall move on through. We still have a few lingering showers out to the west of Tulsa, so a few showers still possible here for the next couple of hours in the city. As we slide off to the east, you notice the heaviest rainfall from just east of Adair down to Locust Grove and extending over to around Salem Springs just north of the Westville area. And a little further to the south, we're seeing some moderate rainfall occurring around Wilburton's now moving out of the McAllister area. Right now we're seeing areas of some rain right around Eufaula and extending up to Shakota, and this is lifting off to the north and to the east. Well, what are we expecting here over the next couple of days as we continue to move through not only today, but also tomorrow, tomorrow night into at least Tuesday morning? There is some potential. We could see some heavy rainfall. You notice Future Track really kicking out three to five inch rainfall amounts, and there is some potential for this. It looks like the heaviest rainfall generally south and east of the Tulsa area, so more rainfall on the way to the area here over the next couple of days. Well, we're still seeing some sprinkles and some light showers here in the Tulsa area right now. Live look at our Brookside cam. 50 degrees, cool start. You'll need a jacket with temperatures running in the upper 40s to around 50 degrees in that south wind of 13 miles per hour. It's making it feel a little bit cooler than the actual temperature. We're at 48 in Sand Springs, 49 Jinx, 48 in Sky Took. Same story in Owasso and Claremore. And area wide, a mix of 40s to around 50 degrees. So these temperatures are cool across all of green country. Across the region, some of the coldest weather off to our east. Temperatures in the 30s and lower 40s. Where we're seeing the clouds and rain. Temperatures a little bit warmer this morning and then out to the west again. Temperatures on the cold side, Lamar, Colorado, right now at 21 degrees. What are we expecting on future track? Well, first of all, this morning we'll see these showers continue to work their way off to the north and east, so we will see this wave start to push off to the northeast. And then you notice as we move through the rest of the morning into the afternoon, just a slight chance of showers redeveloping and moving across the area. So there will be a time we could see some dry weather here in eastern Oklahoma. And we could even see one or two breaks in the area. I'll say mostly cloudy skies around for today, but don't be surprised if you see a couple of rays of sunshine. But as we move through the afternoon into the evening hours, look what happens. We're going to see more showers, isolated thunderstorms moving back in. So best chance of rain will be during the morning hours here over the next one to two hours. Then we'll see a bit of a break for the rest of the morning into the afternoon. That rain chance will not be zero, but the chance will go down a bit as we move through the midday and afternoon hours. But by evening, we'll see rain chances starting to increase once again. Overnight tonight, good chance of rain and isolated storms. That chance of rain running at about 90%. Then that wave moves on by. You notice at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, we could still see a few showers around the area during the morning. Then as we move through the day tomorrow, we'll see a bit of a break. We still can see some showers through the day, but that chance of rain very similar to today. It drops off a bit during the midday and afternoon. Then it'll ramp up again as we move through the evening and overnight hours for tomorrow night. Here's a look at your high temperatures for today. Generally in the low 60s, a few spots may hold in the upper 50s especially if we keep the thicker cloudiness ongoing. So temperatures on the cool side, but these are pretty close to average for this time of year. You notice winds out of the south at 10 to 20, some higher gusts, so a little bit breezy, and we'll see a 30% chance of more showers after this wave of light rain moves on by. Here in Tulsa down to the south, a 40% chance of showers as we move through the day, otherwise mostly cloudy and highs in the low 60s. Southeast Oklahoma, 40% chance of more showers and temperatures lower 60s throughout the day. So it will be a cool day. So again, a lot of things ongoing right now with the showers going out this morning. We'll keep a slight Light opportunity of showers through the rest of the morning, midday, and afternoon hours. We'll keep that at 40%, but as we move into the evening and overnight, that chance jumps up to 80 to 90% chance of rain. Through the overnight, 80% chance of rain tomorrow. That will occur mainly during the morning hours, and we'll see that chance of rain drop off again to about 40 to 50% for the rest of Monday. Then as we move into Monday night, Max, guess what? Rain comes back again. We'll see a chance for rain, and then we'll actually see a chance for showers, and not only that, but thunderstorms Monday night into Tuesday morning. Could see a few strong to isolated severe storms Monday night into Tuesday. Finally, this system pushes off to the east, and we're going to dry things out for the second half of the day on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Right now, looking good with cool morning lows and afternoon highs in the lower 60s. So, a lot going on in the weather. Second half of that week looking great. Uh, today, you probably just keep your umbrella handy all day. Yeah, that's right. Especially this morning. I think, you know, between now and about 10 o'clock, and then again as we move into the evening hours. But yeah, if you're going to be out running around all afternoon, just keep it with you. You may need it off and on. All right, Taff, thank you so much. Okay.